As a patrol enters a town, there's a sequence of events. This is what happens. Good morning. I am the mayor of Anchorage. Good morning, mayor. We are the boulders from Troop 555. The boulder patrol from Troop 555. Okay, do you have a patrol yell? Okay, okay, one, two, three. We are the boulders. We will rock you. Okay, and who is your patrol leader? Ooh, 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 I am, I am, I am, ooh, ooh, ooh. Identification of the patrol leader is paramount because the mayor is looking to see what patrol method is going on and they need to know who is the leader of the group so that they can grade them accordingly. If other members start taking over and clearly the patrol leader is not leading, then, well, there's an issue with their uh, patrol method. After the initial handshakes have taken place, the mayor will read from a script so that each of the patrols will have the same exact opportunity for success. Each town has their own set of instructions and Anchorage or the Not Gauntlet Relay Race is no exception. So this is exactly what you'll hear. Participants, the race begins at the start line. As a patrol, you all must run 50 feet to the log designated on the course, tie a timber hitch to the log, and pull the log to the starting line. With the ropes provided, tie two half hitches to one post and a taut line to another. Make the rope between the poles semi-tight. Tie a clove hitch and a rescue bowline knot to the other two poles. Nearly completed, tie a square knot with the two ends of the rope that are still left on the poles. And lastly, extend the rope you just left on the log by way of a timber hitch by tying a rope of unequal diameter to the original rope, a sheet bend, and pull the log back down the 50-foot lane. Untie the timber hitch and run back to the start line to finish. The time starts when you are ready and the command to 3, 2, 1, go, and ends when the last person in the patrol crosses the start-stop line. The race is timed as well as scored for station completion. Participants may endeavor to best their own time by running the gauntlet more than once. The patrol must move as a group. And then we do have some ropes down below here. And I'm going to simulate, there's the log, and I'm going to simulate that that's 50 feet away. That I have to run, tie a timber hitch onto that, pull it back here so I can attach the thicker rope. That three quarter inch rope to the three eighths inch rope and pull it back to the start. Unwind it or un unhook it from the log and then run back to the finish line. So it starts off that I have to take this, this smaller rope, make a timber hitch out of it and hook onto that log that I've placed 50 feet away. And of course, we're going to simulate that being that it's only about 20 feet away. So I take the rope in my hand just like this. And I want to put my finger in it. And when it says go, you just wrap this four times. Stick that end through. Now you have your timber hitch. Okay, so you're doing that as you're running down, running down here. So you already have your timber hitch done. Your teammates pick up this end of the end of the log. You make sure it's on there good like this. And then your teammates and you pull the log back till you get to here. Now the rest of your patrol starts tying knots while one person turns this thing around. grabs the large rope and does a sheet bend. So in order to do a sheet bend, coming close, I big big rope, little rope. Okay. Do a couple
come up through here and I put it just like that there's my sheet bed then I just take this rope and just kind of throw it out there like that now when everybody's done tying these ropes here we're ready to grab onto there run down to the end untie it run back All right, the knot gauntlet starts off with these uh, poles here. You can see it has what should be tied on each one, on each side. You have the ropes over here. Okay, the first one there says a square knot. So I have two lengths of ropes and I have to tie it here together. So I'm gonna do this as easy as I can. It's just left over right and right over left. There's my square knot. And of course this is a timed event. This says a clove hitch. So I can either tie a clove hitch around here or I could have it around this peg. And I'm just gonna go ahead and elect to tie it around here. Okay, that's clove hitch. And then over here it says uh, a bowline, bowline knot. Okay, so a quick and easy bowline. I just leave this end off to the left. I loop it over so this is on top. I just grab a loop like this, push it up through. And you see where my middle finger is right there? That's the hole that I'm gonna put it, that's the hole that, that I need. But I'm gonna take this end and push it through this loop that I pulled up through the hole. And there's my bowline. Isn't gonna move. And I can take my bowline and just set it right on there. Good thing I got it just long enough because this is kinda, kinda stretching it. Now the next one up here is, this was a two half hitches, so I'm just going to tie it right onto here. There's one half hitch. There's two half hitch. Okay. And then I come over here. This one says taut line. So I know that I have to go on the inside of this twice. There's once. There's twice. And then through here. So it sort of looks like a pretzel. And then the rules say I have to make this tight. So the top line makes it tight. So when all the knots are done on the, on the stanchions there, everybody grabs a hold. And of course your sheet bend is here. And we pull the log, of course simulating 50 feet. Undo this, and then run like heck all the way down to here where that's the timer is stopped and you have finished the knot gauntlet. After the uh, timer is stopped, the um, mayor is going to come back and he's going to look at all of the knots to make sure they're correct and that you've complied with all of the rules. And then once he's done with that, once he or she is done with that, then you're gonna untie all of these. Now see this says here, uh, do not remove. So you wanna actually keep these on this peg. But uh, all you have to do is untie this and then allow the ropes to uh, dangle. These are the ropes that you actually have to coil back up and put on these pegs. And when you finish with that, you can move on to your next station. And that is the Knot Gauntlet. All right, so the first one here, a pretty quick and easy one left over right, right over left. And I screwed that up. 
cut. I know a quick and easy way to tie a bowline. Um, I just loop it over like this, take another loop, push it up through. Actually, I'm going to have to do that this way. Take a loop, push it up through. Now that isn't going to work either. Are going to cut? Cut. After these first handshakes occur, then each mayor will read from a prescripted <laughs> prescripted prescription to her. After these initial items take place, the mayor will read from a script so that each uh, patrol will have the same exact chance of doing the yeah, you need to get this right. <laughs> After the initial handshakes take place, the mayor will read from a scripted, from a scripted script. <laughs> we are the boulders. We will rock you. Whoa.